Hey guys, John from Shine On here, and I'm super excited to release our new seller creative asset portal. This is a the, the home of everything you're gonna need to sell Shine On products. Product photos, product videos, message card designs, all the templates, and all the little things you're gonna need so that you can get everything done. So what I wanna do is go ahead and jump straight into it and show you exactly how it works. All right, so when you come to the Shine On portal, there's a couple things I wanna draw your attention to. First of all, we have these four folders here. You have your message card designs, you have your product photos, product videos, and template files. I think a lot of that is pretty self-explanatory as to what are in those photos, but if you have something specific you wanna look for, you can go start browsing in by clicking into any of these. The other thing I wanna draw your attention to is the search bar right here. This is very new for our assets. So you can easily come in here and you can search something and it'll show you all of those assets. I also do wanna point you up to these things across the top. You have all files, you have smart albums, videos, audio, documents. A lot of this you're not gonna necessarily need to worry about just yet, but this is up here and it is a way of filtering if you just wanna see images. Now the next thing is interlock, let's go to the search. What I wanna show you is what's awesome about this search feature is I'm gonna go ahead and search interlocking hearts. And what's actually gonna happen is it's gonna go out and find every single thing that we have that is tagged with interlocking hearts. All right, so we can just go ahead and search a product name and what happens is you get brought into our portal and what you see are results in the center um, and what you're seeing right now are going to be folders and albums you will see some you know images and things down here uh, but it'll bring in folders and albums first because you're seeing everything you see you have uh, across this bar image video folders um, uh, you can also see we have navigation over here on the side if you want to look into again there's those four folders inside the folders there's all the products if you're looking for something specific now let's pretend like i said we've searched interlocking hearts what i'm really hoping to find is a um, template file right so i know that my template file is going to be a psd so if i come over here under content type and you guys might not see this because my head is in the way but down here you get what it shows you is the types of images uh, or content that are available. And here it's saying you have PNG, JPEG, PSD, GIF, and an MP4, and then some others. What I'm really looking for is a PSD because I'm looking for the template file. So when I select PSD over here in the filters, you're gonna see it's now brought in and I'm only looking at PSDs. And you can see all of these look like they've got the message cards, they're all editable. You've even got some nice close-up photos that are saved as PSDs that you can go and use. And there's our template file right there. Perfect. Again, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say, I've decided now what I really want is a video, right? So I'm going to select MP4 and see what it pulls up. And here, I've got all of the interlocking heart videos right at my fingertips. And the same thing applies for... Um, let's say I want to just look for a message card, right? If I come in here and I go, well, I know there's tons of uh, message cards in here, but what I really want to see are ones that are editable so that I can go in and put in my own message. Again, if we come over here to the filters, and let's see if maybe if I close these, you'll be able to see it here. Um, yeah, there we go. We can see again, it says you have inside this message card folders, there's PNG, JPEG, and PSD. I want to edit it. So if I click PSD and select it, it's going to get rid of everything else and only show me stuff that are saved as PSDs, which probably means I can go in and edit them. And you can see there's a lot here. Um, it's going to keep going for a while. So that's great. You can even then go in and filter it further by going into like the tags, and you can see there's a whole, it pulls in all the tags that are here and say, well, I'm really looking for a from sister. And I can select that tag and it's gonna filter. Now I've got PSDs 
that are from sister. So I have just filtered that down in just a couple seconds and I get tons of uh, options here. A couple other things to show you is that you can, um, you know, if I want to say like I want all of these, I can, once I've selected one, I can come up here, there's a select all, and then there's a share or there's download. If you do share, it can it allows you to create a share link, which will be a link where you can download these. Um, and that's if you're gonna send it to someone else, let's say. Uh, if you wanna download these, you can click download. It'll download a zip file with all of these files in it. Um, you can also, let's go ahead and unselect these. Inside of these images, it'll give you a little bit of information here. Uh, and we plan to build this out further. But it'll show you it's from sister to sister. Um, it's got some information, the dimensions of it. It shows you that it's an Adobe Photoshop file, things like that. It just gives you lots of information. So we plan on building this out and adding a ton more in there to even make it a better experience. So as you can see, uh, again, up here, it'll allow you, if you just want to look at images, it'll just select images and show you all the images that exist. Um, based on what we have selected. Again, this uh, the three main things I wanna point your attention to are this left side navigation with all of our folders in here so that you can go in and, and find what you want. Um, also, the right side filtering, being able to filter, be it by tags, keywords, content type, um, you can even get into like image details if you're looking for something really specific. Um, and then also just along this top bar over here, there's different ways you can view the thumbnails. You can view them as a list if you'd rather have a list. Um, if you have them in thumbnail, you can make big thumbnails or you can make little thumbnails. That's completely up to you. Those three areas I think make this extremely searchable and easy to filter down to what you really want to find. And as always, this search bar up in the top is available if you just want to go and type in a specific product that you're looking for. So again, that's ShineOn's new seller asset, uh, seller creative asset portal. Please use it and understand our goal is to be filling this portal with tons of photos, videos, all sorts of stuff. If there's things you want, reach out and I will do my best to get them and fill uh, and throw them in there. But there are already thousands of assets available to you, some of which you may have never seen before. So please go take a look, explore, see what there is to offer, and just see how creative you can get with the assets that we're giving you. Thanks for joining me. You guys have a great day and happy selling.